What up YouTube man, Resolve here. First off, before I get into my video, I wanted to say congratulations to Emmanuel Turner, man. He hit me up for the uh, the free football game giveaway. If you still haven't noticed yet, every two weeks I'm gonna be sending out a free football game. Uh, he hit me up. I'm supposed to be sending him, or I've already sent him Madden 08 for the PS2. So congratulations on that, man. Whenever you get it, enjoy it. Uh, update the rosters, man. Take advantage of these options. Also, this guy right here, I definitely want to shout out, man. He hit me up uh, a couple days after I made the video talking about uh, the free football giveaway, man. He sent me like uh, 10 to 12 games in the mail, all older uh, football titles, man. He just told me straight up, like, whatever I could do to co contribute to the community, here's these free games, man. Send them out to people, man. So, yo, this is the type of stuff we need to see in the community, man. This is this is definitely, it, it speaks volumes, man. I can't even, I cannot thank you enough for sending me those games, man. So, but anyway, uh, I'm going to get into this video now. And I uh, just want to know your opinions on it, man. Getting back to Madden's core engine. Now, like I said before, I cannot respect the fundamentals and logic of this game because of how this engine uh, responds and acts as a whole. You just don't you, you, you don't get consistency. You don't get the right you know outcomes. You get scripted outcomes, uh, buggy gameplay. Like I said, the engine has been flawed so what i'm using in this situation i'm using punt returns and this is going to happen in just about every one of your punt returns because of just the logic of these players regardless of the 60 calculations per second watch how these players act during this punt as you can see the carolina panthers are backed into their own end zone ready to punt the ball and the Fal uh, falcons are in a punt block formation uh you know most of the time they're not going to get to the kicker so let's get past that now the ball is now airborne. As you can see, uh, during a punt block, you know, a, a, like a return is not not likely just because of the fact that the Falcons are just not in a position to uh, make you know good blocks for the uh, for the receiver to try to make a return. As you can see, though, most of the Falcon players are running in front of the Panther players. So. I want you to pay attention to the ball. Okay, the ball is now in the receiver's hands. This is what happens in this game. Now, instead of riding, trying to ride the Carolina Panther players out of the play, every one of these uh, Falcons players, just about everyone turns around to try to block these players upfield, which gives one two three four panthers players an open look but why tell me why would these falcons turn around instead of just like i said just trying to ride these panthers players down the field so that their receiver has some type of room to make a return but instead you can watch an instant replay every time these players will turn around and try to block the players behind them knowing that there's players running beside them. This the, that that logic is just shot to me. And a lot of times, whenever they turn around, they miss blocks. Just giving, like I said, more players open looks. So this is what happens just about every time. They come down there and make a play every single time. But that's that's your logic of the punt returns, man. Tell me, tell me what you think about that. I'm gonna show some NFL footage to show how a punt return and how players are supposed to block downfield for their returner. Check this out. <laughs> 